Hi folks, welcome to your MWIS Friday Planner in association with Ellis Brigham. We have high pressure and settled weather in the forecast at the moment, but some subtle variations from day to day. And this weekend, a bit of a game of two halves in terms of temperatures with a warm Saturday, but much chillier field things on Sunday. Some gusty winds around the mountains as well. Worth bearing in mind that particularly over the Scottish tops, there's still a fair amount of snow cover and that will lie across the Munros throughout this weekend. So just be aware of that on the higher terrain despite some of the spring light temperatures that we're starting to see temperatures will likely rise again as we go onwards through the week ahead some subtle details then in the weather pattern at the moment let's just start off with a look at the big picture now this shows you the general pressure pattern and air temperature that is around and they're starting off today on friday we've got a zone of high pressure that is building just to the east of us it's dragged in some of the air from around the azores and some of it around the mediterranean as well so it's a generally mild or warm air mass that is across us and as that high builds as well there is a gentle descending of the air within the high and that tends to warm the air as well so all leading to a warm day on Saturday now the change will take place as we go through later Saturday into Sunday as we start to drag in some of the air from a colder source reason region further out across the east and the southeast of Europe where there's some cooler and unsettled weather at the moment that gets dragged around the high on a southeasterly wind so by the time we get into Sunday our air mass is quite a bit chillier not a great deal has happened to the general weather story but uh, in terms of where the air has come from it's suddenly quite a bit colder the high has uh, centered itself a bit more around the Baltic as we head onwards into the early part of next week that uh, little zone of cooler air does run northwards and may produce one or two areas of showers but that will fizzle away high pressure is still quite a strong feature just to the east of us and we tap in an airflow once more from the south to southeast which comes more directly from the mediterranean around spain and france so temperatures once again will start to lift as we go into the early and middle stages of next week Saturday's weather map is one that doesn't have a lot to show apart from high pressure and quite a lot of isobars. Now that is going to create quite gusty winds and those will be gale force in fact across the Welsh mountains in particular and around some western fringes too in Scotland and some very gusty conditions in places around the Lake District. Not quite as windy the further east you go across the Pennines but still some rather blustery winds on the higher tops and some very gusty conditions down slope toward the lee side of some of these hills and mountains and that may well include areas say north of the Cairngorms as well where the gusty wind from the south southeast will be around turbulent conditions around some of the corries with the wind flow quite varied in places so not just a southeasterly wind it could switch around in some of those turbulent gusts it's a dry day overall though with lots of sunshine it's a dry air mass that's across the country through Saturday touch of frost in any sheltered valleys and glens first thing and again be aware that the higher mountain terrain particularly in Scotland will be frozen with snow cover despite air temperatures going well above freezing point highest temperatures of all across Britain may well be found in northwest Scotland some of the glens here may not be far off 20 degrees Celsius with some local phone effect patterns where the airflow gets warmed up as it descends to the lee side of the mountains now by sunday that chillier air has moved in then from the southeast the chart hardly changes really in terms of its appearance but quite a different feel to the day a much more marked wind chill across the mountains temperatures then near or even below freezing point across some of the higher tops the far northwest of scotland probably just getting away with values staying above freezing point here still mostly dry a bit more cloud cover may just bubble up in places and just a low risk across uh, maybe the southeast of Wales of that producing the odd light shower perhaps that some soft hail if a shower does form but for most places it does stay dry but just a chillier day still quite gusty winds around as well maybe not quite as strong as on uh, Saturday uh, strongest likely early in the day and just tending to ease back as time goes on quite a complicated looking chart into Monday a little circulation of low pressure trying to move northwards over the North Sea now this might just create more in the way of cloud broadly across many eastern hills and mountains could just produce the odd uh, shower again with some soft hail perhaps over the hills in places most places looking dry still with some good amounts of sunshine in the forecast through Monday a bit more cloud building from the south as a warm front 
uh, edges northwards into Wales. Not much on this, it might just uh, create the odd shower though, so watch out for that one during the day. The wind looking lighter overall compared to the weekend. Temperatures near freezing point, but will tend to gradually lift as the day goes on. High pressure stays out to the east of us into Tuesday. That airflow from the south to southeast is dominating, so the milder air returns. What's left of a very weak frontal feature from the start of the week it may just leave a legacy of cloud and maybe the odd spot of light rain or a very light uh, hail flurry in places, but for the most part, it is going to be a dry day. Some varied cloud, sunshine typically best maybe towards the far north of Scotland and may well come through widely across central England and Wales too. Not much to see by the middle of the week, high pressure dominant and a dry settled weather story. Touch of frost overnight in many valleys and glens, some mist and fog patches forming as well through the middle of the week. But the hills and mountains broadly free of cloud, a few patches here and there may just drift up slope from any morning fog patches. But overall, it should be a lot of sunshine and the hills and mountains in the clear. Temperatures back above freezing then on the tops throughout this time. Most likely it stays a quiet weather pattern heading to the end of the week and into next weekend. That's the general average pressure situation through the seven day period to the 28th of March, the following Monday, and the orange colours indicate higher than average pressure, which just means that we're underneath a settled weather pattern. Mostly light winds I suspect by this stage, again some frost and some fog in the mornings, but some mild springtime days. To finish with, thinking further ahead towards the start of April, and there may just be some changes that develop a long way off to get any detail out of this, but just lowering pressure over Scandinavia may just drag in something chillier and perhaps showery at times on a northwesterly flow, with the mountains then at times at least dropping back below freezing point and maybe some snow and some hail showers in the forecast. High pressure then has retreated a bit in the forecast modelling by this time. A long way off, but just on the guard then for something chillier again as we go to the end of the month. We shall keep an eye on those details. Enjoy the sunshine that's around this weekend. That is your Friday Planner in association with Ellis Brigham. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.